So the easiest way to change your path is through AIM. It's, it's, it's like when you're in school doing um, proofs in math class, mm -hmm. they give you some givens. Yeah. There's always a couple of givens. So um, our givens here are the target line. Your ball to the hole in a straight line. It may not be relevant to what you're doing, but it's, it's a known fact, right? Don't take it for granted mm -hmm. that if you're aiming to, to make the ball, if your plan is to curve the ball left to gain yardage and produce a draw, you had better aim right. Absolutely. Right. No different from a right-handed baseball pitcher throwing a curveball to a right-handed batter. You have to throw it at the batter. Right. To be able to get a called strike. If you throw it at the plate, it's a ball. Mm -hmm. As long as it breaks, right? If it doesn't break, it's a home run. Right. And then you're going to the bench anyway. So, um, so first thing we have to do is adjust the aim. Okay. But let's look at the numbers and see where the path was first before we decide how much. Okay. Okay. So path was about two degrees left. One point so. So what does that mean? So I mean, mm -hmm. I was close. The the club head was. No. 1.7 or so think of that as the direction so this is path right so think of that as the direction the end of the shaft is moving okay so just imagine there was no no face no club head it was just a hosel yeah on the end of the shaft or you can you can flip the club over to understand path let's say that's your your line of play your a to b your given target line path is telling us swing direction truthfully is is this measurement which is left 4.1. It's saying at the moment the ball left the golf club, mm -hmm. the shaft was moving, let's say the ball is sitting on that line, the shaft was moving to the left four degrees. Okay. 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 So the easiest way to, ch to change that is to just aim more to the right. Right. Without even going into the nuts and bolts of movement, like what you're doing with your joints and your body parts. Just aim right and it'll, it'll correct a lot of that. A lot of that and we definitely need to because look at the, the club face average is six five and a half degrees left so more left than the path so that's the definition of a hook yep right so the way the ball flight laws work is that the ball will start its flight along the line the face was aimed yes it will then curve away from the line of the path Okay, so here our path is left of target line, and our face is left of path. It's going to go left. <laughs> it means it starts left and turns left. Right. So pull hook yeah. or hook, right? You can call it a pull hook and a push slice. Those are real terms. But a push draw, I don't know. I don't know. With a straight aim, that doesn't that doesn't track. Right. Okay, so. We've got a shut face with a left path. So let's start by just aiming right. So it's interesting. I mean, my issue has been, and I don't, my club face has been open. That's what I've been working on for the last four months. Yeah. It's like I've been coming back. I'm rolling, getting to the top. Um, open too long. I'm, even here, yeah. And what I'm doing is then I'm, I'm flipping with down at the bottom because I'm running out of time. So I'm just, right. Yeah. So it's just interesting that this is now unclosed. But. Well, well, we'll talk more about club behavior in a few yeah. minutes. Okay. But. So I'm going down the same. You want my? I'm heading down this this first bunker though. That's my overall goal. I'm right? just yeah. yeah. Aiming to do this. That's where we want it to land. Yeah. Got it. But to make it curve left and land there, it's got to start right. Right. So we're going to kind of set this. In other words, I always teach that there's two lines. There's a, there's a landing line, and there's a start of, start of flight line. Right. Right, or we can call it starting line, landing line. So this is our starting line, this white one. Mm -hmm. We might set our landing line somewhere to the left of there. How's that work? Is that? Yeah, that's pretty long, a little more left. How's that? That's maybe a little better. Yeah, a little more left, actually. Oh, good, this way. There you go, that's right over the edge of that bunker. Okay, perfect. So if I got set up like this, so the ball is just adjacent to where those two sticks touch, I can see my, my toe line, my knee line, my, I can see my hips, I can see my lower body. 
Okay, so at least I've got that much I can visually see. Okay, I can look out here and see my shoulder. It's kind of angled over to the right edge of the bunker. And then if I just deliver the face closed, that ball is going to draw. That may be a little bit of an overdraw. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness I aimed some amount to the right. Right. So let's go ahead and give that a, a try. Okay. Uh-oh, everything just shifted left. There you go. It's, it's, this is an interesting dynamic for me. So I'm sure it, it feels is. a little awkward. Yeah, it still works the same. Ah. That's okay. Let's just get over that, that hump of the awkwardness here. Yeah, it'll take a few minutes. shift it again there you go good it's that last second there's a little hop it's all it's like you kind of jump that left foot back there you go so that's starting right turning left yeah good good start should have given you some time to get comfortable so now look at the numbers how the numbers change so now the path is 10 to the right Remember, it was two to the left. Before. Yeah. So we've altered the path 12 degrees. Wow. That's a significant change. Well, for effect, right? It's, yeah. It's got to be exaggerated so it sticks. Right. Now, face angle is also saying it's to the right, but not by as much as the path. So Which there's, make it? there's the difference between the two. So the face was one and a half degrees closed to the path. So that's why the ball took off along your aim line and then fell to the left. Got it. So what, what you're striving for numerically, like if you were if you were practicing with a loft monitor every day, mm -hmm. you'd be trying to make your face angle half as much off target as your path to the same side. 